Good afternoon. This is Ross, the Hatch Yacker Hendricks, and this is my walk around review of the Pelican Argo 100 XR. First and foremost, I want to start out by saying that I'm a working man. You see a kayak in my yard, I went into debt to get it there. Nobody's sending me anything for free. I'm about 50,000 followers short of that. So, no, this is my unbiased, unbought opinion. And having said that, I think the people at Pelican did everything possible to hand the customer a touring recreational class vehicle for, at the $500 point range. So well done, Pelican. We'll start up front. Standard issue Pelican handle. Pelican emblem. Little storage up front here. I guess you could put a bilge pump. I like keeping mine clean. I've also been thinking about maybe at some point putting a four inch hatch there. But why? There's plenty of storage. The Pelican Argo 100 XR comes with two one inch track mounts on either side. Put whatever you want. The one in the middle, the star mount, is my addition. I drove a Yak Attack double header size screw up from the bottom, screwed it in. Now anything with the star mount, I can put in. Below deck. Adjustable footrests. And to make this more of a touring recreational class vehicle, I have added a float bag and my paddle float. They are wedged in there. They can't move. It's not wasted space. I will need both of them in case of a capsize. And now I have an unsinkable bow. I cannot say enough nice things about the Pelican Ergo Coast seat. I have just started kayaking last August. And in that time, I have ridden every kind of kayak there is. Sit on top, sit inside, 10, 12, 13 foot. I've tried everything. This is the most comfortable seat I have found. And it easily goes in. In, out. That's it. That simple. Okay, going in the back. Oh, and of course you have the paddle mount. Up back here, I've added two four-inch track mounts to hold my flag, fishing rod holder, and my bilge pump. Nice lockable hatch. Watertight bag on the inside, plenty of storage space. I've enhanced this as well by putting another float bag back here, buttoning it up against the wall, blowing it up. It's wedged itself in, and now I have positive buoyancy in the bow and stern. And this, we could debate on if it has to be a certain length to be a touring class kayak, but I believe, well, I know I would have no fear of taking this anywhere other than rapids or straight up surf so I like this kayak and of course you have the handle and the drain in the back so I think for the price of kayaks nowadays you are getting the most for your money right here this is what I've settled on Pelican Argo 100 XR thank you and have a good day